everybody, this is me and today's video is actually all about Casper getting his new shoes. So horses are generally shod every around six weeks and I actually wish Casper was barefoot because my goodness it is so expensive so shout out to all you guys that are barefoot but um, the reason why Casper actually has shoes is because his hooves don't grow as quickly as most horses so because he's a ridden horse we sometimes ride on the road because it's just mud everywhere in the UK so if you want to get anywhere in the winter it generally has to be on like a concrete surface that's why all of our surfaces are basically concrete because if you have mud then it's going to be a bog but um anyway so because Casper's hooves don't grow very quickly it means they get worn down very quickly so the reason why he has shoes is to prevent that so the metal on the shoes gets worn down rather than his hoof which could lead into like hoof problems and things and just a little disclaimer again i am not a farrier i'm not a hoof expert or anything like this but i thought it would be a fun and sort of educational video for you guys especially for any of you guys that are doing your pony club tests that need to learn about how horses is shod or why they're shod or the different farrier tools but anyway before i ramble on for too long let's get into today's video i hope you enjoy this says me and today we actually have the farrier coming out because Casper's gonna get some nice new shiny shoes um, so the reason why Casper has shoes and other horses have shoes is because um, we actually do quite a lot of ridden work on the road because especially this time of year in the winter because the fields are so muddy you can't really ride on the fields if not it'll sink into a bog so and um, we do a lot of hacking on the roads and this can actually wear your horse's hooves down which can cause problems so that's why Casper is short he has all four shoes on his feet so um, the farrier is going to come and give him some new shoes. Um, it's just like having your nail, like a human nails trimmed, so it doesn't hurt at all. Casper's very, very good with the farrier. So I thought I'd film it and talk about how the farrier is doing everything, what he does, and how shoes are fitted. As you can tell, Casper is very muddy at the moment, which is not great as his hooves are very muddy as well. So I'm going to give them a little wash off so the farrier can actually see your shoes rather than just mud. <laughs> so not all horses are actually shod. Mickey here is barefoot. He is actually retired now and we decided to go barefoot now he's not being ridden and that's worked really well for him. He's doing really well so it just depends on the horse if they need shoes or not. Casper is a horse that does need shoes and Mickey is a horse that doesn't so for me I just say do whatever is most comfortable and best for your horse. <laughs> hey Mick. So Casper's actually in an enclosed area so I will be letting go of him because I know he won't stack, go anywhere and if he does he won't go in anywhere dangerous so that's why he just has his head collar like this just because it's easier for me to use the hose pipe um, and he's very good at having his hooves clean, he knows the drill. So Casper has now had his hooves cleaned, but now we need to pick them out. So I'm just gonna get a towel and dry off his legs so my hands don't get all wet when I pick up his hooves. So should we dry off your legs then, mate? Okay, so now it's time to pick out Casper's hooves. Here I have a hoof pick, and this is actually a scrubbing brush for washing your dishes, but I find it works really well as a hoof brush. I know you can get hoof picks with a brush on the end. However, I always find the pick is really blunt with those ones, so I prefer to have a bigger brush and a hoof pick on its own. <laughs> So here you can see his shoe has been worn down quite a bit. The nails you can see are definitely worn down. And um, now I'm going to pick out his hoof. So this triangle shape here is called the frog. Then we have the seat of corn. Um, then we have the hoof wall, that's quite easy to remember. And then the um, heel, toe, and then obviously this is the shoe. 
Here you can see the clenches have risen a lot and that's when you definitely know that your horse needs to be reshod. So here you can see Casper has quarter clips, some horses have toe clips or some have none at all, it just is personal preference or whatever is best for your horse. So now I'm going to pick out the rest of Casper's hooves. Just make sure that when you're picking out horses' hooves that you never kneel, you just crouch and that you stand by the side, not directly behind because they can kick. However, Casper is a very good boy and is very used to having his hooves done. So if I just pick it up. Sometimes their tails can get in the way. Here you can see Casper actually has stud holes, so these holes here I actually put studs in in the summer when we do cross country or when we're jumping on grass. This just gives him a bit more grip. This time when Casper gets new shoes he's not going to have any stud holes because obviously it's the winter and we won't be jumping on any grass because it's too muddy. Once I'd cleaned out Casper's hooves, the farrier then arrived and the first thing he does is remove the shoes, so to do this he uses a buffer and a hammer. This knocks up or straightens the clenches which makes it a lot easier to remove. Next the farrier uses shoe pullers or pincers and these are designed to work underneath the shoe to pry and pull it off. The round head allows rocking side to side to gain leverage. Next, a hoof knife is used to clean and trim the sole, the frog, and sculpt the bars. Hoof trimmers or nippers are also used to trim the hoof wall. However, Casper does not have this done because his hooves grow a lot slower compared to most horses, and that is the main reason why he has shoes, because if not, his hooves would get worn away so quickly. But here you can see the farrier using a rasp, which is basically a giant horse nail file, and this just smooths down all the edges ready for the shoe. After that, the farrier then puts Casper's new shoes into the forge and this heats them up so they are red hot. This is so then the shoes can be modified to fit the horse's hoof. To do this, the farrier is using tongs to hold the shoe, a rounding hammer to shape the shoe, as well as an anvil. Once the farrier has shaped the shoes for the horse, he then uses a pritchel and a hammer to widen or shape the nail holes. The fit of the shoe is then checked and as you can see Casper is hot shod, so the hot shoe is held against the bottom surface of the hoof for several seconds and the hot shoe leaves a mark on the hoof which tells the farrier how well the shoe fits. If not, modifications such as trimming the hoof wall or going back to the anvil can help make the shoe fit better for the horse. Although a lot of smoke is produced, this isn't painful at all for Casper and sometimes he falls asleep when having his hooves done. Here you can see the farrier putting in a road pin into Casper's shoes. Not all horses have this, however Casper has one over the winter when it can get icy and slippy. When the shoes fit, they're then put in a bucket of water to cool them down and nailed onto the horse. Again, Casper doesn't feel any pain when this is happening because the nails only go through the non-sensitive part of the hoof. As all horses are different and wear down their shoes differently in different places, the placement of Casper's shoe might be slightly different to a horse that you ride. As you can see now, Casper's hoof is now on a hoof stand or a tripod and this just helps support him and balance him. And finally, the clenches are flattened down and the rasp is used again to smooth it all down. A clincher is then used which is a tool with one curved and one flat jaw designed to bend the nails down into the hoof securing the shoe in place.
Here is one of Casper's old shoes and as you can tell it has worn down quite a bit because Casper's hooves actually grow a lot slower compared to most horses so shoes definitely help him a lot so his hooves don't wear down too quickly. So here are Casper's new shoes. So this is what Casper's rear shoes are looking like and here you can see that he has a road pin to help with grip. So Casper was a very good boy having his new shoes put on so here's a treat. Good boy. <laughs> So yummy! So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Casper is now going to be a lot more comfortable with his nice new shoes and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!